Hello everyone, welcome to alexjwilson.com and we are here to bring you a brand new condo development called Line 5 Condos. First off, connectivity. We all know Young and Eglin means connected, but do you know how connected it is and how connected it will be? First off, Line 1, the Young Subway Line, you can get down to Young and Bloor in 8 minutes, Union Station in 15 minutes, and when Line 5 is completed, which is the Crosstown LRT, you will be able to get to York University by going east-west on the line and connecting at Cedarvale Station in about 30 to 35 minutes. And also, you will be able to connect from Line 5 to the Union Pearson Express at Weston Station what this means is you will be able to take public transportation from Young and Eglinton and go across the city, connect to the Union Pearson Express, and get right to Pearson International Airport. Now that is connected. Neighborhood-wise, I've always said Young and Eglinton is the most convenient area in the city. My first five years in Toronto, I lived at Young and Eglinton. Everything is there at your doorstep for shopping wise, whether it's along Young Street or in the Rio Can Center, which has been recently renovated. On top of that, for grocery store needs, you have the, the brand new Loblaws, which was recently completed, and you have the Metro Grocery Store. Every bank is there. You need electronics, you have Best Buy right on Young Street. Sporting life is just up the road. You never have to leave your neighborhood because everything is right there if you want to get it. And if you want to watch a movie, you have a Cineplex right at Young and Eglinton. All the restaurants along Young Street, everything at your doorstep. Now let's talk about the building, Line 5. This is actually a full master planned community. It's already been proof for four towers and may go all the way up to six towers in this area. And this is the first phase of the launch. Now, this building is jammed packed with amenities. And normally you would be saying, Alex, no, no, I don't want amenities. That just brings up my maintenance fees but not in these buildings. Because it is a master plan community, you have a large set of amenities, but it's shared over a large number of units. Therefore, you don't have to pay extra for all these amenities, which makes your building more competitive against other buildings that do not have these amenities. Great for investors. So let's go over some of these amenities. There are three different levels of amenities in this building. On the first level, you have over 8,000 square feet of amenity space. And some of the amenities in the building include, obviously 24 hour concierge. One of my favorite things is there's a roundabout area for when people, when they're getting dropped off by Uber, Lyft or taxi, they can be dropped off right in front of the building, right at their door. You don't see that very often on, in buildings that are in the Young and Eglinton or along the Young Corridor because they don't have the space. This building has the space to actually drop people off at their doorstep without impeding traffic. You have three different barbecue areas. You have a spa-like space with sauna and indoor pool. Speaking of pools, on the ninth floor, there's a rooftop pool area with a large pool, size-wise 30 by 50 feet. Going back down to the ground level, the concierge, we talked about that, but behind the concierge will be cold storage for that meal delivery. So thinking of the future and thinking of the future individual living in this building that may not like to cook, you can easily have meal delivery to this building and not worry if your food is going to go too bad if it hasn't been in cold storage. Also, you'll have easy parcel delivery as well. Thinking about that future renter 
that's going to be in this building, all about convenience and catering to those needs of those individuals. Now, speaking of rent, we looked at the value of this building, and this is truly an investment grade building. Perfect for our investors looking for cash flow positive properties, priced below current market values. So first off, speaking of current market values, one bedrooms in this building will range between four hundred and sixty to five hundred thousand dollars. And when we looked in the area, and we looked at a recently completed ninety-eight Lillian, the Madison, the last three one-bedroom sales have averaged a final sales price of five hundred and thirty-three thousand three hundred dollars, with the last one selling for five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So what we see is we're getting units below current market values, what current units are selling at today. And we looked at rental numbers wise, we see that one bedrooms have been renting for around $2,200 per month. And when we ran our numbers on those based on a, a fixed rate of 3.4% and with the maintenance fees and property taxes, as you can see here, these units are running at a cash flow positive level. This is absolutely fantastic for investors looking for cash flow positive properties and below current market values. Now you may be asking Alex, why is this the case? Well, this is, as we mentioned earlier, a master plan community. And this is the first phase that is launching of a future four to six phases. This is your opportunity to get in at the lowest possible purchase price. Every successive phase after this will be at a higher purchase price. So the builder, because it's the first phase and to build up traction, sell, sells, will sell these units at a lower price. And as they gain traction, prices will go up. So you get the first mover advantage by buying in the very first tower of this project. And as it gets established, prices will go up. That's why you're able to get cash flow positive units at today's prices and buying in below current market values. As we've always said, we always look at what the value play is for, for a project that we recommend to our investors. And this is our value play. And the reason being, it's the first phase of a master plan community. Now let's look at our future value levels. Our initial investment is made up of 20% down, land transfer tax, development charges, and additional closing costs. If we're looking at a $500,000 purchase or investment wise, we're looking at total costs, a total investment of $129,000. Now, what's our return going to be over five years? If we apply a 5% growth rate year over year, when we get this condo in 2023, based on our current market value of $533,300, our valuation will be $680,000, which means our return on our initial investment will be 138%. And if we map that out 10 years in 2028, we're looking at a future valuation of $868,000 and a return on initial investment of 358. Looks good so far. Now let's look at our cash flow wise. Again, if we assume a 5% growth rate on our rent year over year, we'd be looking at, in five years in 2023, a cash flow of $596 per month at today's cost. Now you may say, Alex, well, what if interest rates go up, which they are expected, which they are expected to? Well, we stress test this. We said, well, what's our cash flow neutral level going to be. We will be cash flow neutral at a 6% interest rate. That means you are protected on a cash flow level up to a 6% interest rate with 5% compounded annual growth in the rental rate. So again, because we're buying in the first phase, we're getting in at a very attractive purchase price, which then provides us a very attractive cash flow level because we're buying at a low price, which again helps us on the investment side and helps us on the cash flow side. A very investment friendly 
building and that's why we call it our investment grade. Very good for our investors out there. Now, when we talk about future values, I wanted to bring up pricing downtown Toronto because it's not downtown, this is midtown Toronto, but we have the connectivity. We have the ability to get all over the city, whether it's downtown, whether it's east, whether it's west, whether it's north. And the pricing in this building will be under $8,000 per square foot. Now, you watch my video, my most recent video, where I talked about Toronto condos are not expensive. We're seeing new developments launching at $1,200 per square foot downtown. We're expected to see resale values hit $1,500 per foot downtown by in five years. This makes Young and Eglinton attractive from the investment level, again, because we're able to buy under $1,000 per square foot under current market values in a central location that has connectivity all over the city. So very important to look at that when you're looking at this as an investment opportunity. From everyone at alexjwilson.com, making your real estate dreams come true. And to book your consultation, email me at contact at alexjwilson.com or call me slash text 416-996-5181 and we will help you retire early and build generational wealth through the investment in condos in Toronto and the greater Toronto area. Looking forward to speaking with you. Talk soon. Bye-bye.